Good evening, everyone. Ads here from Unity Trading Group. Good to be back on this Monday. Uh, we didn't have a, uh, an update on Friday last week, but uh, good to be back this week. Uh, a few things have happened since then, since we updated you all on Thursday night. But before we start, hit that like button, tap the subscribe button if you can, and of course, tick the little bell to stay updated on all of our new content. Gravy train coming soon. Of course, we are very excited here at UTG. At the camp UTG, of course, myself, Ty, and uh, Craig's uh, have been working very hard on Gravy Train for quite some time now. Uh, our, I finished our video on it today, so uh, our video is uploaded to YouTube, but it is uh, private, and we are building the product page in the back end of the website before we go live. Everything will be revealed at once. I think that's the most appropriate thing that we'll do. We've got some uh, some giveaways and stuff like that for Gravy Train as well. So just uh, keep an eye out in the Discord. You can find the link down below and, of course, uh, on the YouTube channel. But BTC, where are we at? Where are we going? So BTC, uh, I didn't update you guys on Friday, unfortunately. But we'll talk about what it's done uh, since we spoke, spoke about it last. So in my own time, I've drawn in this level of demand and, of course, my Fibonacci levels, so the trend-based Fib levels, have not moved. We've got the 2168 level that we have bounced off so far, which lines up pretty nicely with that 58K level. So 58K, <clears throat> excuse me, let's put that on the chart, 58 double, triple zero. We've basically got that psychological resistance level, and that lines up pretty much with the 2618. So the 618 obviously being the most uh, relevant level of Fibonacci, uh, of most relevant Fibonacci levels, should I say. Uh, and of course, price action will be drawn to those points. So uh, nothing surprising there, the 2618 to be, uh, to be tested at 58K. It really just comes down to what we are going to do from here. So we've had this rejection, this sort of tweezer top style rejection there at 58, and we are heading down to the 272. Of course, I do have our most relevant level of demand drawn in at the 52,000 mark, uh, which lines up from the level that we pushed out of. So we got caught at the 52K mark for, a, I think it was a day or so, uh, before we moved up towards our 54, and of course the 58 is where we're seeing it now. So what the most relevant, so excuse me, the most appropriate thing for us to do now is look at our levels of demand and supply, and of course, look at our levels of fibs. The levels of fibs that really are, are stand out are the 272, which is 54.8. And of course, if we draw our fib retracement from swing low to high, it's gonna get a little cluttered now. It's gonna, I do apologize, but um, we've got the 38, the 50, and the 61. So the 38 is where we're touching now at 55,380. Uh, we've got the 50, which goes just down below the 272 at 54, and we've got the 61 at 53,500. So those levels in between our major swings, which is the swing high and the swing low, these three levels are going to pay a key play a key role. Excuse me on uh, on keeping BTC upwards and on the upwards trajectory. If we are going to see uh, BTC you know come down and retest this 272, it would be very uh, very safe, I guess, to maintain uh, those lower time frame Fibonacci levels like I just had on the chart and see where we do end up and see if the, those levels do get respected. If we blast through everything, of course, our most relevant level of demand is the 52K mark. And I would like to see BTC come back down to 52K to give us a little bit more of a more breathing room on this time frame in particular. But if we're looking on a lower time frame scale of things like the one hour, I guess this 272 would be an ideal place for the pullback to occur. We've had this blow off top scenario on this time frame specifically, uh, described by Steamroller there on the bottom half of the screen. And of course, if we get to the 272, we'll get that lower band or lower market swing on the one hour time frame be fulfilled on Steamroller as well. So uh, a couple of things to look out for. In any case, I'd be looking for this 272 uh, to really be respected. Oops, there we go. Um, and uh, looking like 54,500 at least, or 54,800 uh, will get tested over the next little bit. Look, we've tested it before. 
in the way of this candle on the 21st of February. However, that was before we touched the 618. So we are moving down towards this 272 and you'll probably find that it might get touched or respected over the next couple of hours. Uh, moving on, we'll keep this short and sweet. Uh, looking at Ethereum, we've had a movement to the upside now to about 2035. So very similar uh, to the movements that we've been observing on BTC, but I'm doing the, exactly the same thing that I did on BTC on ETH from swing low to high to really see where our pullback is going to be. So we were respected on the 78, and now we are moving towards that 618. And the same sort of price action is going to occur. So if we are not to, if we are not to hold on the 618, of course, we'll be going back to our major swing level there, which is this push here. And we're looking at that level of demand at 1785 which would be a nice swing in my opinion for Ethereum and more than likely uh, be a valid area, I guess, to complete a market cycle uh, in regards to our steamroller indicator as well. Looking at another one that moved today was uh, XRP. So keeping an eye on XRP uh, personally for a little while, I have, I honestly did buy off the 618 off our swing low, swing low down here to swing high retrace back to the 618 and uh, that's reaping some rewards at the moment. So that's nice for XRP. However, we are seeing it being held above this 23. I'd be pretty, I'd be pretty interesting to, or pretty interested to see XRP retest this level at 64 cents. Not holding my breath, however, it was quite a decent uh, blow off top there we've got on the four hour time frame with the big wick being rejected at the 64 cent mark. But I'd like to see XRP back up there, honestly, uh, for my trading portfolio, of course, and of course, uh, for, for XRP in general, we have had a few decent runs on XRP, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what the uh, outcome of this SEC uh, investigation is, and if this could have been a preemptive move for the release of that information. We'll see. I'm not that well versed with it, but if, uh, if you are, uh, get in contact with us on the Discord or even leave us a comment and uh, tell us more about the XRP fiasco. <clears throat> The last one I'll have a look at this evening is the Forex pair, the DXY. Uh, it is a regulated market, not financial advice at all, of course, just ideas and opinions of Team UTG. We've had a few swings on the US dollar currency index now. Uh, we did break through this level of uh, demand, which I spoke about last week. We got front run on the one below us, but of course we did get rejected on the 50 retrace. So swing high to swing low, of course. That swing low was down here at the time. So what we'll do, we'll nip up this level of fibs and we'll see whereabouts uh, we did get rejected on. So if we're drawing it incorrectly from swing high to swing low, we did get rejected on the 6.1 up top at 91.037. And of course that gave us a little bit of a false signal with our level of supply, but no, no worries there. If we actually draw in the supply correctly, uh, you'll see that uh, we did get tapped pretty much straightforward on there. So looking at this very, very uh, small pivot, and of course the movement down uh, creates the rest of that uh, that zone for the uh, the rejection there. So looking like we are getting a ping-ponging between two zones currently. So we'll see if we do get held above or below this 23.6 this evening, but we have broken down below the 50 RSI now, so it might be in bearish territory again for the DXY, and if that's the case, I'd be looking further down below our level of uh, demand there, at back down at our 90.04 six level for the DXY. But that concludes our update for this evening. I'm very excited to bring Gravy Train to all of you. Uh, please, please stay updated on the DR, on the, the YouTube channel, of course. And of course, the Discord, you can find the link down below and in the banner. I'm Ads from UTG. I'll see you tomorrow night.